Okay guys, today what I want to do is look at the beach programs on the XP Deus 2. The first one I want to show you guys is the diving program. Uh, the diving program is set up uh, to go up to a frequency of 14 kilohertz. It's really going to be good on silver and um, it will also find gold as well. Um, it's not weighted at a higher frequency like the other two programs, which is Beach and Beach Sensitive on the XP Days 2, but it, it is going to be good for all around hunting, and it's especially going to be good for going into the salt water. Um, so if you're really in the wet be on a wet beach that's got a lot of mineralization, or you are wading out into the surf, or if you're going diving, then this is going to be the program that you're going to want to use, and that's going to be the diving program. Um, the other thing is, um, of course, like all of the XP Deus machines are, this is fully customizable. So you can set up the sensitivity setting to your liking for whatever your beach can stand. You can set up the salt sensitivity setting, um, and I can show you all these real quick. We'll flip through. Let's... Um, there's the discrimination. There's the sensitivity setting. Uh, if you're dealing with high EMI, EMI then you might want to adjust the sensitivity setting. Um, if you're dealing with a lot of mineralization, then you can adjust the salt sensitivity setting. Uh, the higher the number, the less, um, the less you're going to have a filter on. Uh, the lower the number, then it's going to be, uh, the filter is going to be engaged to uh, cut down on any background noise that you might get from mineralization or salt water. So again, the salt sensitivity. Sensitivity setting are probably the two. One other tip that I can tell you is that if you're still struggling with some feedback, you can up the reactivity and that tends to help too. So I think this one starts off at a reactivity of one. So if you wanted to go up to one and a half or two, uh, then you can try that to get rid of any uh, feedback that you might be getting. But that's the dive program. And again, a lot of, uh, of customization that you can do to set up for your beach. Um, you can, of course, raise the audio response to hear those faint targets if you want to. Uh, but just tons and tons of, of customization that you can do with the Deus 2 uh, in the dive program. So going to be a great program, especially if you're a uh, water hunter you're definitely going to want to use be using the dive program and I think you're going to find it to be very very beneficial. Remember too when you're using the diving program it's you will attach the antenna. Uh, one thing too that we've noticed with the antenna is that um, it tends to block EMI a little better we believe. Uh, just don't get as much feedback from EMI when you have the antenna connected and that goes for all the beach programs. But again, if you are going in the salt water or you're going into water and you're going to be submerging the coil, you're definitely going to want to hook up the antenna. And uh, I think that will assist you as well with EMI. So um, again, remember when using the diving program to make sure that you um, hook up the antenna, uh, especially if you do plan on going into the water. Okay, so let's look at the beach program next. And again, all of this is customizable. Some things that we have found that really work good on all of these programs uh, is basically what I said in the dive program. But going back to the beach program, the beach program is weighted a little bit higher as far as frequency goes. It goes up to 24 kilohertz, uh, which is a really good frequency, especially if you're going to be hunting gold and those mid and low conductor targets or conductive targets, then uh, the beach program is going to be great for that. Uh, this is the all around beach program. It works great um, in the salt water. It works great on the wet beach. It works great in the dry sand. So it does a little bit of it all, but uh, again, good all around beach program. And then again, you can customize it however you choose. Again, the two settings that I think are the most important when dealing with these beach programs are the salt sensitivity setting and the regular sensitivity setting um, because both of those things are usually the, um, where we're going to see most of our issues. Uh, if you're dealing with salt water or you're dealing with a highly mineralized beach, you might want to adjust the salt sensitivity setting, which I showed you uh, with the dive program. And you might want to adjust, adjust the sensitivity setting 
if you're dealing with EMI on the beach. So again, salt sensitivity and sensitivity, two of the more important settings. Uh, the reactivity would definitely be one too that you would want to um, play around with. Um, if you're getting some feedback, uh, even after doing those others, you can up the reactivity and that tends to take out some of the feedback noise that you might be getting off of the sand. So again, beach program, 24 kilohertz, um, excellent program, standard program, but works extremely well. And for those that are adventurous, then you can go to the beach sensitive program. The beach sensitive program goes all the way up to 40 kilohertz. So if you're searching for those tiny pieces of gold on the beach, using this, this program at 40 kilohertz is going to be a home run for you because it's gonna help you find those smaller pieces of gold uh, like earrings and um, maybe even earring backs and chains and those types of things. So again, the beach sensitive program, excellent program. Um, once again, adjust that salt sensitivity for however you need based on your beach. Uh, adjust the sensitivity for EMI. Um, if you're having, still having problems, you might even want to hook the antenna in. The antenna tends to get rid of some of that EMI noise uh, if, that's, uh, if you're having an issue. And um, that tends to work well. And then, of course, you can bump up the reactivity, too. And that tends to take back, take off any feedback. But um, those are just some things that I think uh, everyone needed to know about these beach programs. Um, these are the three main ones, the dive program, the beach sensitive program, and then the regular beach. All of them can be adjusted. All of them you can customize for your beach in, uh, in particular. Now my beach is mild, so I can tend to run the sensitivity up a little bit higher. Uh, if you're dealing with black sand, they do have a black sand reject feature on the XP Deus 2 as well that will help deal with black sand. Now I don't have any black sand and I haven't used this machine in black sand, so I'm not really sure you know, what it will do, but I, I feel like from everything I've seen that it's gonna do excellent uh, even dealing with black sand. And I think there are a few videos out there showing you um, what it does with black sand as well. So it does have that black sand reject. It's something that you guys might want to consider. And um, if you're dealing with black sand, of course, again, my beaches are mild. Uh, I don't deal with that. And so I can run my sensitivity up a little bit higher and um, hopefully get a little bit deeper on some targets. And uh, we'll see what happens when, uh, when we do. But again, beach programs, I just wanted to go over those. Um, beach sensitive, regular beach, dive program, uh, all are excellent on the beach. Definitely want to try those out once you get your machine. I wanted to mention uh, that some of you may find to be beneficial is the audio type. Um, so if you do want to change the audio or the way uh, the machine sounds, um, you can always go to options and you can go to audio. And then once you get to audio, you can select which type of audio you like. The square tones is going to sound uh, a lot different. It's going to be very similar possibly to a um, mine lab machine uh, but if you don't like the square tones then you can also change to pwm and pwm uh, is more like the original dais sound from the dais one and one thing that i have found with the pwn is i tend to get a little more uh, tonal nuances so if you're over a target on the beach or if you're over a target relic hunting, uh, you can sort of hear if that might be a piece of, of, of iron or if it's a junk target because it'll give you sort of that scratchy sound using the PWM. But, um, you know, that's a, that's a uh, you know, a preference that you will have to decide on, but the PWM or the square tones is totally up to you and what you choose um, you know when you're out hunting on the beach I found that I can recognize bottle caps a little better using the PWM over the square so another great feature that XP Deus 2 has added um, it's a personal thing whichever one that you feel works better for you 
then that's the one you need to go with. But you do have a choice between square tones and PWM. So uh, good luck. Figure out which tones or audio sound that you like the best and go with it, whichever one works for you. Um, and again, I think it's uh, the Deus 2 is going to be a home run on the beach. Uh, it's really done well uh, from what I've seen so far. And I think when people get their hands on this machine, they're really going to love it. Okay, I will catch you guys on the next video.